Occasionalism is a philosophical concept that has intrigued thinkers for centuries. It proposes a unique perspective on causation, suggesting that individual physical events are not caused by other physical events or natural laws, but rather by the direct intervention of a divine being, typically referred to as God. Before we dive in, if you find this content valuable, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. It truly helps us grow. Now, let's get started. This philosophical stance has been a subject of rigorous debate and contemplation, sparking discussions on the nature of causation, determinism, and the relationship between the physical and the divine. In this review, we will delve into the key ideas behind occasionalism, its historical context, prominent proponents, criticisms, and its enduring relevance in contemporary philosophy. Historical Background Occasionalism emerged during the Islamic Golden Age in the 9th to 13th centuries, primarily among Muslim philosophers and theologians. Early occasionalists like al jais and Al-Farabi laid the groundwork for this concept, but it reached its pinnacle of development with figures like Avicenna, Ibn Sina, and most notably, Al-Ghazali. Al-Ghazali's contributions to occasionalism remain influential as he grappled with the question of causation in the context of divine omnipotence. Central Tenets of Occasionalism 1. Divine Causation The core tenet of occasionalism is the belief in divine causation. According to occasionalists, God is the ultimate and direct cause of every event in the universe. This means that when we observe one event causing another, it is not due to any inherent connection between them, but rather God's will that brings about both events. 2. Denial of Secondary Causes Occasionalists reject the idea of secondary causes, which are intermediary factors or natural laws that explain how one event leads to another. In their view, these apparent secondary causes are mere illusions, and God is the sole agent responsible for all occurrences. 3. Causation by Concomitance Occasionalism proposes a theory of causation by concomitance. According to this theory, when we see what appears to be a cause and effect relationship between two events, it is merely a consistent pattern established by God. For example, when we strike a match and it ignites, it is not the friction or chemical reactions that cause the flame, but God's will to create the flame at the moment of striking. Prominent proponents of occasionalism 1. Al Ghazali Abu Hamid al-Ghazali, often referred to as the proof of Islam, is perhaps the most famous proponent of occasionalism. In his influential work The Incoherence of the Philosophers, al-Ghazali criticized the philosophical ideas of his time, particularly the belief in natural causation, and defended the idea of occasionalism. He argued that God's direct intervention is necessary to preserve his omnipotence and sovereignty. 2. Avicenna, Ibn Sina Avicenna, a Persian polymath, is another significant figure associated with occasionalism. In his work The Book of Healing, Avicenna explored the concept of divine causation and argued that everything in the world is contingent upon God's continuous intervention. He emphasized the importance of God's role in sustaining the universe. Critiques of Occasionalism while occasionalism has its proponents, it has also faced substantial criticism from various philosophical perspectives. 1. Problem of Miracles One of the main criticisms of occasionalism is related to the occurrence of miracles. If God is the direct cause of all events, how do we explain miracles, which are often seen as supernatural events that violate natural laws? Critics argue that occasionalism struggles to provide a satisfactory account of how miracles fit into its framework. 2. Lack of Explanatory Power Occasionalism has been criticized for its apparent lack of explanatory power. By positing God as the immediate cause of everything, it can be seen as providing a theological explanation rather than a philosophical or scientific one. Critics argue that it fails to offer insights into the underlying mechanisms of the natural world. 3. Challenge to Scientific Inquiry Occasionalism, by denying the existence of natural causes, can be seen as a challenge to the scientific method. Science seeks to understand and explain the natural world through empirical observation and the study of causal relationships. 
Occasionalism's rejection of natural causation may discourage scientific inquiry by implying that there is nothing to discover beyond God's will. Contemporary Relevance While occasionalism is often associated with historical Islamic philosophy, its core ideas continue to spark interest and debate in contemporary philosophical discussions. Here are a few ways in which occasionalism remains relevant today. 1. Philosophy of Religion Occasionalism plays a role in contemporary debates within the philosophy of religion. It raises questions about the nature of divine action, miracles, and the problem of evil. Philosophers continue to grapple with the implications of divine causation in a world that values scientific explanations. 2. Causation and Determinism Occasionalism challenges our understanding of causation and determinism. In a world where causation is often seen as a fundamental concept in both science and philosophy, occasionalism invites us to reconsider the nature of causation and whether it can exist independently of God's will. 3. Theology and Metaphysics Q. Occasionalism remains relevant in theological and metaphysical discussions about the relationship between the divine and the natural world. It prompts exploration of questions regarding God's eminence and transcendence, as well as the limits of human knowledge. Occasionalism is a fascinating philosophical concept that has its roots in the Islamic Golden Age, but continues to captivate the minds of philosophers, theologians, and thinkers today. Its proposition of divine causation challenges conventional notions of causation, determinism, and the role of natural laws in explaining the world. While occasionalism has faced criticism and poses challenges, it remains a thought-provoking idea that contributes to ongoing discussions about the relationship between the physical and the divine. Whether seen as a philosophical curiosity or a profound theological perspective, occasionalism invites us to contemplate the mysterious interplay between God and the natural world.